Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and I come with the unfortunate news that one of you guys cracked. And literally, just one of you guys cracked when it came to voting for Arissa when you wanted to see her top 5 episode. Come on, man! I thought you were in this together. I thought you were gonna stick together like a family and not vote for her. So I'm gonna be honest. I completely forgot about the voting poll, and it wasn't intentional. I was just on my vacation for my birthday weekend, and I didn't remember to put the voting poll, which has happened multiple times. In this case, it really didn't matter, but I did say that if she didn't win, like if nobody voted, then yeah, she wouldn't receive her episode. But she received one vote, and it was me. I'm going to be honest, guys. Okay, I want to do her episode. So that means today we're going to be looking at Arissa's top five best skins. And that means that this is the final specific hero that we're going to be looking at for season two when looking at their best skins. And it's somewhat bittersweet because I've been doing this series for, God, like six months, seven. I don't even remember when I started. I probably in the summertime. And honestly, this has been one of my most favorite series to do because it's such a simple series to do, but I have so much fun with it when it comes to the editing, when it comes to actually picking the skins, when it comes to the commentary. It's been a fun series. You guys even have fun with it too by making Soldier Lose week after week after week and it was funny when it ended but boy oh boy was I in pain and want to cry and eventually Arissa became that meme for a short period of time and technically she never won because I was the only one that voted but finally we're gonna be finishing off season well almost finishing off because next week what we're gonna be doing is looking at the top five best base legendary skins and then that following week we're gonna be looking at the top 10 best event skins so I'm gonna be separating those two videos out by two weeks however we gotta get through this week we gotta get through Arissa's top five best skins and uh, yeah let's finish off this series by looking at Orissa's top five best skins. So starting off our list at number five is gonna be Orissa's very first event skin. And I'll be honest, I think this was just a last minute added skin. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's somewhat decent and this is gonna be Null Sector. So if you remember from the Uprising event, not the Archive event in 2018, in 2017, there was a game mode that allowed you to play throughout King's Row. And at the very end, well, I, I haven't played it in a hot minute because it's been almost a whole entire year. But somewhere, there was a bunch of Bastions that had this purple coding along with this Arissa like bot that didn't like it, it looked like Arissa but it didn't have the kawaii status all right it didn't look all cutesy daisy like Arissa does with the little eyes <laughs> what am I doing bro and that's one of the biggest reasons why I actually kind of hate this skin along with the OR 15 skin is because I absolutely love when her eyes goes into that little like carrot looking thing I don't know how you would describe it just when she gives the kawaii eyes and it looks so adorable but you can't experience that adorableness with the null sector skin but somewhat decent because it somewhat is inspired from the quote unquote lore if you even call the uprising event game mode a lore story and it's in the form of a skin so it's like the evil skin for a really good hero and that's what I really like about the skin but again it's very simple it's literally just purple I, I want to say this was a last minute skin because they already had the asset of the null sector robot built for the game mode and they're like uh yeah we can make this a legendary skin for Arissa right yeah, and that's basically what they did. Nothing too special, that's why it's at number five. But now, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be a skin that came from the Blizzard World event. I have no idea what this is, but she looks dope. But because I don't know what this is, it's at number four, and this is gonna be Immortal. So I do know that it is from StarCraft 2. So many people hated the fact that I called the Doomfist Blackhand skin a Diablo skin because it was on fire, and now I know why people cyber bullied me for thinking that. So now that every single time there's a new Blizzard IP in inspired skin in Overwatch, I make sure to know where it's from, and it's from StarCraft, and it's basically like the turret, or it's like the cybernetic machine that like shoots things. What I picture are kind of like those turrets from Star Wars on the Death Star. Is that it? I still don't really know. I, I looked it up, I tried to figure it out, I don't really know. Other than with the inspiration that I don't know about, the skin itself looks pretty cool. I really like the color palette. I love the copper along with the light blue and the dark blue and her eyes. Even though, again, they don't have the kawaii carrot eyes. It's all right. It has that soldier tactical visor line. So basically, Orissa copied soldier just like how Fortnite copies every single skin from Overwatch. I'm still kidding. I'm done with that series, luckily. Uh, but overall, again, don't really understand the inspiration. Love how it looks, though. 
but that's why it's at number four because I don't understand the inspiration behind it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to the third best Arissa skin, and this is definitely one of her most slept on skins. This was a skin that I fell in love with when I first saw it, though, and this is gonna be her Dynastine? Dynastine? Poppin' Pele! I'll stop right there, I'm sorry. So, the, probably the only reason, I was gonna say the number one, but basically the only reason why I love this skin is that this is basically Heracross from Pokemon. They're both inspired from a beetle, they're both inspired from bugs, and now they come together and form an Arissa skin. That is so cool! But obviously, once you take away the Heracross inspiration away from it, it's literally a beetle skin for Arissa. However, that's such a unique concept because you have to understand, Arissa is literally a four-legged horse creature. You don't think about bugs or beetles when you think about horses, dummy, but they still made her into a beetle, and it works out perfectly. Plus, she looks like Heracross! Like, come, I cannot unsee it now. And once I showed you, you can't unsee it either. But out of the two, like, beetle skins, I like this one more. One, because the colors are a lot more cleaner. And two, if you actually look at Heracross's mega form, they have the exact same color palette and the exact same eye color too! Literally yellow eyes! I'm such a nerd. Like, you have to understand, I absolutely love Pokemon and I absolutely love Overwatch. So when both of these two universes collide into the form of an Orisa skin, you know I'm gonna be a little bit biased here, but come on, it's only at number three. I can understand why you might not like it. Maybe you're not a fan of bugs. Maybe you're not a fan of bug Pokemon, which I'm really not because they're statistically the weakest Pokemon in all of the metagame, but come on now, it's so cute. Plus the kawaii eyes are there, so she's just gonna go, new boo. <laughs> Kill me, please. And now we've made it to the second best Arissa skin. So many of you guys are gonna disagree with me all because it's an epic skin, but I always say do not get lost in the hype, all right? Just because this isn't legendary doesn't mean it's not a good skin. And ladies and gentlemen, the second best Arissa skin is gonna be your Sanyi skin. Coming with the most recent Chinese New Year event came Arissa's third event skin, and this was only epic skin, but my God, if this ain't a good, quality, beautiful, epic skin, then I must be a Hanzo main because this is so beautiful. This is so pretty. She really is pretty, Sheldon. The white feathers, the beautiful colors that you see throughout her gun and on the bongos, but more importantly, her angry face. Yet, she still has the kawaii eyes. She's gonna hit you with the kawaii eyes, uwu face with the scary gur face. <laughs> Every single time I look at this skin, I cannot help but just think of that like Bambi movie or whatnot where the bunny's like, now let it out with a big gur, and then the guy just goes, Mar! That's literally all I see whenever I see that face, but pushing the memes to the side, this is definitely a beautiful skin, a unique skin for such a hard hero to design skins around, at least good skins for Arissa, because again, you can really only design creature or animal skins around her since she has four legs, but this was inspired from a, a dragon that is celebrated in, I want to say just the Korean culture, but it might just be all of the Asian culture that's supposed to fend off like negativity, toxicity, pretty much the Overwatch community, but also bring good luck, good fortune to everyone that is just celebrating the holiday. So a beautiful story along with just such a beautiful skin, the white fur. Please do not eat tacos because you're gonna get it stained. Like they're messy and it's spent, oh my. But now ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The last and final skin for every specific hero, the number one Orisa skin. You knew this was gonna be on the list. I rock this skin day in and day out. This is gonna be Forest Spirit. Now, I don't understand the inspiration from it. Someone at the office at Blizzard must have been getting high at a meeting and said, guys, guys, what, what if, what if one of the heroes had his tree skin from Zelda Ocarina of Time, the, the, the Deco Tree? What if we made a skin for one of the heroes and that hero was our horse hero? What's uh, Arissa? Yeah, forest spirit. Give it little like faces on its antlers and give it like a like leaf rope. Yeah, that's literally how the inspiration behind the skin went down. Arissa is literally a horse. Why did they make her into a tree? Why did they have little like little droopily things that have faces on it. Why does she have leaves and vines everywhere? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. It's so different, but so beautiful. It is literally the deco tree from Ocarina of Time. Now the only thing this skin needs is a black mustache and a little blonde boy to walk in with smell. 
Let's just pause it right there and <laughs> wrap this video up. Overall, Forest Spirit is a great skin, but it's really what embodies what all these Overwatch skins are all about. Quality, beauty, inspiration, and love. And, and, and I'm gonna get a little bit cheesy here because this is kind of the end of Season 2, but this is the reason why I want to start Season 2 because sometimes you kind of forget that some of these skins even exist. Some of the most beautiful skins go unnoticed because a Diva skin came in the same event or a Mercy skin or a Reaper skin where we're able to experience like an Orisa or a Pharah or a Reinhardt skin. Sometimes not the most popular skins, but every single a week we got to pick a hero sometimes it was your main sometimes it was your most hated hero that beat a hero that you actually do play on a daily basis but hey i'm not mad about the soldier meme but i was mad i had to do han so but it allowed me and so many others to be able to appreciate some of these skins because my god only blizzard can really come up with any of these beautiful skins and that's why i love the skins that's why i love overwatch and that's why I love you guys. That was so cool. I'm going to edit right here. Thank you so much for supporting Season 2. And it's not really even over. Just the hero part of it is. We still got the top 5 best base legendary skins. And then the following week to end the season off, we're going to have the top 10 best event skins. Pretty much all the skins that we looked over from all these other heroes is going to be in these two videos. So get ready for that. It's going to be a good way to end the season off, and then season three is going to possibly be even better. So, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for supporting this top five series. It's one of my favorites to make, even in my Call of Duty days. But now, I get to do it for some of my favorite heroes. So, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More watch videos to come, and bye.